Gary Russell Jr. put on an absolute show for just over a round against Patrick Hyland. This was an absolute mismatch. I knew this was going to take place. Uh, he stopped that Russell for a while early in his career, and I've been following him for a long time. Uh, early in his career, he didn't punch for power very much, and we heard a little bit of a story about that today from Mauro Ronaldo, Al Bernstein, and uh, Pauli Malinaji. Uh, he has kind of that his hands. He's had several hand injuries throughout his early portion of his career, but he might be past that because lately in his last few fights, even though this he had been out of the ring for over a year before the Highland fight on Saturday night. He had uh, actually he's been dropping guys. He knocked out Johnny Gonzalez to win the WBC featherweight championship. This was his first defense. He was supposed to fight twice before one against Oscar Escondon and another time against Highland, which was supposed to be on the March 12th card, uh, which was uh, on the undercard of uh, Thurman Porter, which got canceled or postponed because uh, Thurman had the car accident. So. Um, but yeah, now Russell Jr. is thrown with some bad intentions for real, man. And the hand speed is still there. I, I have said this before, and I'll say it again for you right now. Gary Russell has the fastest hands in boxing right now. He has among the fastest hands I've ever seen. I, You know, if you ask me for a comparison of Gary Russell... I would say he is Meldrick Taylor with more power. And and that, if you think about that, because Meldrick Taylor was lightning fast, a very good technician, but he didn't punch all that hard. Well, Gary Russell Jr. can pop, and he has that kind of hand speed. So he called after the fight with Patrick Hyland. I mean, it was just destruction. I mean, really, he was landing body shots, head shots throughout the first round and a half. Dropped Highland with a really, really, really quick. Um, it was a left hook to the body, right cross combination that dropped Highland initially. He never really recovered from that. And um, I mean, he, I mean, Russell, man, he Russell's Russell is looking really, really good, man. So he called out Lee Selby, called out Lu, uh, Leo Santa Cruz, and he also wants a rematch with Vasil Lomachenko, who gave him his only loss. It was in a majority decision, I believe, about uh, which was about a year and a half, two years ago. So Russell is he's ready for those guys. He really is ready for those guys. I think he beat Selby easy. I think he beat Santa Cruz relatively easy. And the Lomachenko fight's a different deal because Lomachenko's a special fighter. I don't know if he'll be able to fight on Lomachenko's warning to move up. Uh, but Russell said he'll follow him. He said he doesn't care if he goes all the way up to welterweight at 147 pounds. He'll follow him there if he has to. So a nice budding rivalry between two extremely talented young lower weight class guys. Hopefully they can get in the ring together again. But as of right now on Saturday evening, oof, Gary Russell, Gary Russell Jr., Mr. Gary Russell Jr. Destroys Patrick Highland via second round TKO. I do appreciate you watching. God bless. Peace.